This demo is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today we are going to be looking at a Office 2013 tutorial, really how to download and install Microsoft Office 2013. This has been around for a few months and uh, I've been playing around with it. I like it for the most part. Uh, figured might as well make a, a little uh, demonstration on how to get that going. So let's uh, take a look at it. First we are uh, going to cover the system requirements that you need. So for the operating system, you uh, need a minimum of uh, Windows, either Windows 7, 8, uh, 2008, or 2012. Uh, this was a little bit uh, a little bit challenging as uh, some of my machines are still running uh, Vista or uh, even XP uh, at some point. So uh, you have to have the minimum Windows 7 to run this. You also need Internet Explorer 8, 9, or 10. And I believe you can also have, you know, Mozilla Firefox with that. You need to have the .NET version of 3.5 or higher. Uh, as far as the hardware, you need at least minimum 1 gigahertz computer, which I would say it's hard to find something, you know, below that. You do need 1, gigs of, uh, one gigabyte of RAM, although I would say um, I'm running, I believe, 3 gigs on this machine. So the more the better. And then uh, you also need... Uh, minimum three gigabytes of hard drive space okay so those are the requirements now as far as what are the steps for the installation okay so so you know microsoft uh, did you know do these things different but for for 2013 basically you need to register for the eval what that means is you need to have a live.com account and we'll uh, show you all of this in a minute uh, but let's uh, you know let's go through the steps anyway uh, once you go, you know, go through the registration and verification, you're really going to download um, an image file, which is typically an ISO. You will burn this image to a DVD. Then uh, after that, you will install, uh, you know, the full featured version. I believe it's 60 day eval. You're going to get, uh, you know, some emails that send you more information on this. And then at that point, you are good to go. Um, so th there's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit more complicated than, I guess, you know, really installing a setup.exe file. But uh, regardless, uh, the more information on this is here. And we will also, by the way, uh, you know, put a blog post on this on learningcomputer.com slash blog. So check that out. But um, let's let's switch over to the internet. Uh, I want to show you this uh, this page that I was mentioning. It's really from the TechNet eval center from Microsoft. Okay, and they talk about uh, downloading the professional plus version. Again, uh, you know the steps are listed here. Like I mentioned, uh, this version is available for 32 and 64 bit uh, machine. By the way, if you don't know how to check for your uh, machine, you can definitely uh, do that if you go to your desktop and if you have this my computer icon if you right click on it go to properties uh, it will tell you what machine do you have so we, we are running a Dell here's some information but notice here where it says system type uh, you can see that it's a 64-bit operating system okay so keep that in mind uh, you know as, as you're going through the setup uh, at this point let's go ahead and get started now so when I click on this it is asking me to go to login.live.com I'm going to go ahead and type in my user ID password I'm hoping that it doesn't give me grief as I've already uh, downloaded and installed one previously but uh, I guess we'll find out together if you run into problems so now it's asking okay thank you for you know installing it's trying to verify some information uh, you can obviously go through this uh, you should be able to do that. I'm simply going to hit continue. Um, it's asking you some other maybe business related information, address, your contact information. If you would like to get on their mailing list, which I can skip that right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and hit continue again. And so now, um, this is the part I believe where they give you the the key okay so they're giving you a part of key okay in fact let me uh, let me go back I need to get the uh, I do apologize I need to get the 64-bit version okay um, which let's see okay here's 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 the part I skipped so it says which version of the software would you like to download okay in my case I'm actually running a 64-bit machine because we just checked that right so 
in your case it may be different but uh, you do want to make sure that uh, you are getting the right one otherwise it will it will not work and then I will have nothing to show for so let's uh, it's basically going through through the whole thing and now now it looks good it says it's a 64 bit uh, it's it's almost better to do a print screen so let's do this um, or let's yeah I think I can highlight this so I'm going to copy this information really what I'm interested in in is storing that key uh, let me see if it works here yeah I think this this okay so the key is there I am going to just save this as uh, we'll call it office uh, 13 key okay we'll have to come uh, we'll have to come back to this uh, at some point after we're done with the installation now you can select your language in our case it's uh, English okay and then click on download now one thing I was gonna say is um, I may have to stop this uh, demonstration every now and then uh, as far as you know when I'm trying to uh, uh, do things like installing the file or rebooting and whatnot so let me go ahead and pause this and I will come back uh, as you can see down it's uh, it's downloading this file it is going to take some time there's no point in watching this uh, this process uh, take place so I shall be back Okay, so I am back now. Uh, the, the file finally got downloaded. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select Show in Folder. And if you do this, uh, let me try to get some space here. The, the, the file here, it's going to be one of the large, largest files typically, but anyway, here's the file. Now, um, this is a disk image file. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, uh, du double click on it and see now it's saying uh, basically what I did is so if you're used to uh, I, uh, image files typically they are ISO this one happens to be IMG you can uh, if you do, do not have Windows 7 you can actually convert this image to dot ISO and do that but uh, I am running uh, Windows 7 here so I'm going to just uh, simply double click on it I actually do have a blank drive uh, in my DVD player already so you well, you want to make sure you put a blank uh, DVD in here uh, on your D you know on your uh, I guess drive the drive for CDs DVDs and then I'm simply going to double click on this and now it's saying Windows disk image burner here's the the file here's where it's going to go and then uh, you can select verify disk after burning it if you want and I'm going to click burn and I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, pause uh, let's just click on it first and see what happens here I just want to make sure that this thing actually uh, starts uh, plugging away before I um, pause the recording I do hear something spinning so that is always a good sign so let me go let me go ahead and pause this video again I shall be back after uh, this one is done uh, doing its magic so I am back and it is actually uh, almost done I want to say uh, we'll just give it a few uh, seconds here and then after that I should be able to um, proceed with the installation every you know all the files that we uh, we had in the image they they should be uh, burnt to the DVD and at that point we should be uh, ready to go so let me just give it a few seconds here I'm sorry I'm actually going to pause this again uh, it's kinda sitting there okay so I'm back again and now it said the disk image has been successfully burnt to the disk and it popped the disk I'm going to go ahead and uh, clo close this one 
and actually push the disk back in so we should be able to uh, proceed with the installation now you know when, when you're installing it it's going to be your regular um, setup that you you may have done in the past uh, it's going to ask you a few things now one cool thing about uh, and by you know speaking of that it just showed up here uh, on the d drive so i'm just going to i mean you can uh, open files if you wanted to view them i'm just going to go ahead and click on run setup.exe and it's asking me do you want to proceed i'll say yes what i was going to say is that uh, office 2013 you can uh, you do have the option of installing it side by side so in other words i'm actually running office 2010 right now uh, let's see uh, programs on your pc Okay, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I guess uh, it's asking me uh, because I picked the 64 bit and it's saying you have a bunch of things that are running in 32 programs. Okay, and uh, then it's saying if you want to install 32 bit Office, instead, please run the 32 bit setup. Okay, I guess I think I should be able to run the 32 bit setup. I'm hoping. Uh, Okay. All right. I'm just seeing if it uh, if it's actually going to bring up anything. It doesn't look like it. I may have to uh, apologize. I, I I was pretty sure that this should work on this as we do. Like I mentioned, uh, let me show you the desktop. I do have the. Um, I'm using Windows 7. I'm using a 64-bit operating system, so this this should have worked. So I'm a little surprised about this, but I'm going to uh, basically, um, you know, stop this recording, go go through the setup process again, where I um, I download the 32-bit version image. I'm going to burn it, and then I will pick it up after uh, at that point. So uh, thank you for watching the video.